What is up, fanboys? We back with another reaction video, and you know how we do. We are back on that Tom McDonald tip, dropping that song, No Lives Matter. No clue what it's about, been withholding myself from listening to anything or watching any kind of rea any of that stuff so that I could do it real and raw, because you know how we do on this channel. Check that subscribe button right now. Is that thing red? Because if it's red, on Reddit, let's go. Hit that notification bell. And if you like the content at the end, man, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how we do. Right into it, Tom McDonald, No Lives Matter, about to get into it, let's go. Hip-hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing up. I'm sorry, I swear to God, I didn't know that was going to happen. I said facts, he said facts at the same time. That's a coincidence or that's true, let's go. Back it up. That was good. Pop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors, white or black. Facts. If you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're white. Okay, here we go. Right off the bat, man, talking real, real stuff. There are people right now, and I know everybody's got their own thing, and I know the younger generation, don't kill me on this, but they're all about... Look at my chain, look at my watch, look at my pants, look at my sock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, no offense, man. I know it's a different generation, and they vibe with what they vibe with. Not trying to hate on it. It just doesn't have any substance for me. And it's not about that they can't, that people can't rap. It's just that they don't rap about anything. It's just rapidly rap. Blah, 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 blah. Look at my car, look at my truck, look at my girl, look at that, blah, blah. whatever. Then he's talking about media just dividing us in color, which is something I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's to each their own, but I grew up with around a lot of different ethnic backgrounds and cultures different than my own. And you know what? I learned to appreciate at a very young age that there are very positive things from all of our cultures that we can celebrate together. It's not about creating, you know, things that are div divisive. It's about bringing people together and commonalities and sharing with one another and appreciating other people's differences. So, but I get what he's talking about. And then saying, back it up, saying people believe in Jesus and they like the police, man, you're going to get thrown down. Like you're not allowed to have a, a, a viewpoint on religion. And I get it because there's a point where you've got to ask yourself the question, like, does anybody really know? I'm not trying to doubt that there's a guy. I'm not trying to do I'm just saying, does anybody really know? I don't know, but good point so far. Christians get attacked. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Mm, that's a good point, too, because... You know, the whole the whole Black Lives Matter movement got really aggressive. And you know what? I, I could just sit back and say, look, I just appreciate that people have the right to stand up for what is right. Stand up for what is, you know, something that they, they feel strongly about, you know, people in general. Um, and then when white people get involved, it's like, whoa, get out of here. And I'm like, whoa, what do you mean? You don't know what it's like. No, nah, I, I do to an extent, but I don't walk in your shoes. But that's vice versa with anything. You know, I don't walk a shoe or walk a mile in anybody else's shoes and vice versa. So, but I appreciate the the effort to make things uh, better. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Lives matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We can unify and then I'll go against them. But we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bought. That's a good point. As soon as this presidential election starts... And I know these are not topics anybody wants to listen to or talk about. I'm not trying to get into religion and politics, believe me, not. But this whole political thing, you know, it's like people are either here or here. And whatever side you're on, there's so much division between the two sides that it's like people can't just come to a commonality and say, look, what are some things that we can do together for the benefit of everybody? 
I mean, isn't there a central place? Or do you have to be right or you have to be left or whatever the situation is? I don't get it. Just can we do what's not right but what's right for everybody? Is there? Can we just have a president that's not, you know, affiliated with a particular party or set of beliefs? I don't know. We can unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bump, all about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. The things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs like, you need a fast car, you need designer clothes, you need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills, hit the blunt and go live at the club till you're broke. It's all <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be stopping constantly, but it is what it is, man. He is bringing up some very good points. Like, the media has an influence over people directly, indirectly, if you allow it to. And you can't say that it doesn't, because it does. They, the media portrays a certain image, a certain lifestyle, a certain etc., etc., through music, through movies. And we see people, and, and I, I know for myself, I would never, ever want to be famous like that. Who wants to go around like, hey, I know you, hey, I... Nobody wants to do that. But it also shouldn't drive who you are as a person. You know, life's not about, you know, finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Just be an individual. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be different than what the media says you should look like or whatever. Do you, man. You have the right to be happy and you have the right to a high quality life period and that's how you determine it you need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills hit the blunt and go live at the club to your bro it's all controlled by the elites put fake news all over our screens convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact that each other we need uh divided by race and religion segregated into teams uh you're a white supremacist if you're not i guess you antifa screaming from the rooftops beat down better turn us on each other now Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. Mm. People hate the president. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. Some people choose to share it. Some people choose to keep it inside. People form opinions, period. Doesn't mean that someone's right, wrong. I mean, everybody has their own right to think the way they want to think. It is what it is. You have one life. That's it. You get to choose what you get to do with it. It's like your body. You get one body. You're going to choose to do what you want to do with it. And that's it. There's consequences either way, good or good or bad or indifferent. Let's go. Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. Facts. People hate the president. If you don't, then you trash. Facts. Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. Facts. The government abuses us. It's all part of the plan. Facts. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement, but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non-black humans who don't feel included. All colors fall under laws to govern the whole country and we all suffer we're all broken nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers hey music that's a fact right there and apologize to keep stopping but he's man he's is this is legit right here this is straight up stuff that people need to listen to and need to talk about and it is what it is you know i understand that there's limitations that are that are placed on people because of their color of the skin and, and all this stupid stuff that how people treat other people and it's just stupid I don't know why people treat people any differently I have some really good friends and I don't you know that are are you know have a different color skin than I that mean nothing to me nothing but you know what I do know to an extent what they feel like as far as you know, when they talk to me about, hey, bro, you don't understand. No, I don't understand. But I do understand that when I go into some places and people see a tattoo on me, they automatically think, whoa, that dude's probably been in jail or something. There are still people like that that do that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know, the whole prejudice and stereotyping stuff is crazy to me. People make way too many generalizations based on what? It's stupid. 
suffer We're all broke and nobody recovers Until we accept that we're all brothers Hey, the music we make All about big booties and getting paid Hey, whoa We watch the news and it fills up our brains With violence and riots and race Like this is a race war You need to hate more Get what you came for You need some songs about Xanax and violence So you can escape more What a vicious cycle we can break away from They control the That is tr so true, man you know how people deal with stuff nowadays? They just escape. They self-medicate. They get away. They go into denial. They choose to close doors. They choose to close their mind. Because there are a lot of people who say, I don't watch the news anymore because it's all negativity. It's all propaganda. It's all, it's all trash. There's never anything positive on the news. It brings me to a bad place, so then they go away. And you know, I think about, like, what is going on right now? People's jobs are going to get delegated to, you know, you're going to have to work from home because if you were in a call center, why are they going to go back and rent a building out for you all to go there and bring your stuff and sit in a cubicle when they can give you the computer they were going to give you and you could do it at home? But what is that going to do for our socialization? For some people, the only socialization they get or connections they get are with people they work with because that's the only human interaction they have. Then you take it away and then what? Oh, it's just tough, man. The way of life is tough now, if you allow it to be. Songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can break away from. They control the culture, they control the paper. They're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation. The music we love make us dumb and addicted. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. The virus is riots and racist conditions. Ain't problems, they're symptoms of life in the system. Mm. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no. will make you dumb, the media makes you hate, and they control them both, there ain't no escape, they put the world in a state of chaos, economy crashing and massive layoffs, black against white or it's left versus right, divide and conquer and control is the payoff, mm. screaming from the rooftops, beat down better, turn us on each other now, no lives matter, if we do what the news wants, blood gon' splatter, turn us on each other till no Hey, you know what? It is what it is, man. This is a, a relevant song to relevant topics that are relevant to all of us today. How do we deal with it? Yeah, I was thinking about like anxiety, depression, OCD, all these things that mental health, you know, is so huge now because people are bringing up what is in the forefront of their minds and in their lives and in they're going to be talking about things that influence them because there's channels to do so. You know, back in the day, you just never said anything to anybody because people were embarrassed. Because people place, you know, generalizations and stereotypes on people for certain things. Well, now it's very much, very much an everyday thing for a lot of people. They take prescribed medicines or they self-medicate or they do what they need to do to escape from all this and try to try to go to a place of normalcy for themselves. This is tough. I mean, great song. You know, I, I apologize that I hope I didn't say anything to offend anybody. I was not, you know, in any way, shape or form intended in anything that I said. It was just off the cuff. I'm reacting to a song. You really get a chance to, to think about anything very much, but it's what it is, man. I'll tell you, Tom McDonald is not your traditional, you know, rap person, but at the end of the day, man, he's rapping. He sounds good. I, I, I've seen some serious growth in terms of his flow and delivery, but the content is what matters. It's about the substance and the content. This dude, I don't know his background a whole lot, but I do know that he's come from a lot of struggles. And right now, he's using it and flipping it around for something good and putting information in people's heads that's relevant. You know, we got to sit down and talk about this stuff at some point, not be divided, but come together because we need each other. We're better together. That's just the truth. We don't have to get along with everybody, you know, as far as you don't have to be friends with everybody, all that stuff. But you do need to be, just be a human being and know that we are sharing this earth together. Just love one another. It is what it is. I don't care what color you are or what your name is. I don't just love one another. 
Hey, check your subscribe button right now. Is that thing red? If it's not meant on Reddit, hit that notification bell. Give me the thumbs up. Like it, please, and comment. Not for me, but for the benefit of getting this to the requests or um, recommendations of other people. So, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Later.